Greetings, 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 royal family. Happy Monday. Welcome back to another episode of the Morning Boogie Morning Show Live. It is Monday, March 9th, 2020, and all is good. So welcome to those who are in the chat as you're coming in. Do me a huge favor, cost you nothing. Hit that like button, drop a comment, let me know all is well and everything is all good. If you're watching the replay, feel free to drop a comment. I greatly, greatly appreciate it. So I normally wait a few minutes till everybody start rolling in. Give everybody time to get their notifications. How's everybody doing today? It's a beautiful day in the neighborhood. Greetings, one Don Diva. Happy belated birthday, queen. Hope you enjoyed your day. What a weekend, right? Sheesh. What a weekend. A lot of shenanigans went down. The baby, little baby, all types of babies. I'm sure you guys heard about it. I'm sure you guys seen. Greetings, Anjanette. Welcome. Happy Monday. How was y'all weekend? Oh, Don't Try Me is in here. Hey, Don't Try Me, girl. <laughs> Holding it down in the chat. So, yes, we are back. Approaching two minutes. So, a couple of topics that I wanted to talk about, of course. The baby, you know, you guys seen that video. Hopefully you've seen the video. There's a video circulating online. He was at a club recently in Tampa, Florida. Always goes down in Florida, right? Lil Baby has some drama circulating around his name. I don't think he had anything to do with it, though. Lil Baby. Child. I don't even know. I don't even know. What else I got on here? Oh, Real Housewives of Atlanta. Did you guys see last night? I did. Whew. Boy, oh boy. I am so ready to get this review out for y'all. But I'll touch on it a little bit. Definitely ready to get the review out to you guys. Uh, and some other stuff. Uh, let me see. I'm sick. I'm sick of all the babies. Seriously, right? Babies, they are acting foolish. Are you following me elsewhere on social media? One time, even no, I don't. I don't have your handles. You were searching for me on Instagram. It's she underscore royal b at she underscore royal b on Instagram and us uh, the same thing on Twitter. The same way the channel name is um. Uh, spell. I don't. I don't post on. I don't even be on Instagram like I used to. Honestly, I gotta do better. Twitter. I'm on to read the news, but I don't really post much either. But I'm. I'm gonna do better as far as my social media is concerned. I promise. All right, we're three minutes in, ladies and gentlemen. So again, as you're rolling in, make sure you're hitting the like button. So let's let's get into the shenanigans. So debate the baby, right? He slaps a fan. So was he defending himself? <laughs> Get it? Defending? I know that was corny. Just laugh anyway, please. <laughs> so to me, this is what I think, right? I wonder, like, he has security. So does he just pay his security to do nothing? Like, what do, what do they do? And another thing before I go in, I don't want to see this fool on Red Table Talk either. I, I don't. So he was in, he was scheduled to perform at a club or whatever it was in Tampa, Florida. So he's walking through the crowd. He's walking through with, I guess, his security. And there were fans that were very, very, very close to him. I noticed that there weren't any barricades or anything like that separating him kind of from the crowds, whatever. And a female fan had her phone up. I don't know if she was, she was recording, taking a picture or whatever. And you could see the flash or the light from her phone. And it looked like she tapped him with the phone. 
Now, I couldn't really make out. I saw two separate videos from two separate angles. I couldn't really make out if she was being pushed by the people behind her because everybody around her, they were all excited that he was coming through the crowd. So with no hesitation, after he is tapped with his phone, hit, whatever, um, he hauls off. To me, it looked like he punched the woman. But he hauls off and slaps. I'm talking about he brought it all the way up top and brought it down. Like he he hauled off and slapped this woman ridiculously. And continued to walk through the crowd to the stage. Um, and the fans or the people in the venue, they booed him. They booed him off stage basically. And he ended up leaving. Now he has since apologized now listen to certain parts of his uh of his apology first of all he went on to um instagram of course he went on to instagram and he did a, it's like he was laying in his bed i think anyway so he this is i just picked out some parts of what he said he says that he's sorry that there was a woman on the other side of the phone. These are his words. I didn't chop or screw anything. He says that he asked why didn't she just use the Zoom feature on her phone. And then he began to use the Zoom feature on his phone. I guess to show how easy it is to use the Zoom feature. He said that he would fly her out. And as far as his security, he doesn't like security getting into all that quote unquote rah rah stuff. Rah rah stuff. He said that the woman is going to be just fine. And that he would have had the same reaction if it was a man or a woman behind that phone. He ended his apology video by saying that he's going to take a nap. Let me tell you where I think that this fan went wrong. Okay. I, I don't, I don't think I need to go into, it's just repetitive at this point. I'm pretty sure you guys have, have seen this online. You read comments, you heard commentary. I'm pretty sure we all probably feel that maybe we probably feel the same way. Still, you can express your opinions here. It's all good. Just don't cuss. Thank you. This is where I think that the woman went wrong after this, this altercation went down. After she got hit by uh, the baby, why didn't she get airlifted to the hospital, sis? Like, you bugging. You should have played possum. I would have still been laying on the ground in that club. And today's Monday. When did this happen? This happened Friday. I would have still been laying there. And I would have I would have had wink or something. Somebody. I would have wanted to be air lifted to a hospital neck brace and all and i would want tmz to cover me being air lifted via helicopter to the hospital i would have still been laying there y'all on the ground and i hope that this woman does not get on social media and say anything or post anything because the baby was offering no, he said in uh, his video, he said that he's willing to give someone, anyone, $10,000 if they can give him the name and information of the lady that he slapped because he doesn't know who she is. So that didn't work. No one was able to produce this information that he was willing to pay ten k for. So he got, I guess he got money to flaunt, to toss around, right? Good. Great. So glad to hear that. So this is when he issued this 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 quote unquote apology. Sis, I hope this woman sues him so bad that he has to change his name to just duh. D A, that's it. Sue the baby off of him. He'll have to just go by duh from now on. And as far as the baby's concerned, I you know, I wasn't even gonna go in, but these clowns, right? Because this is clownery. These clowns, I feel like they need to be afraid to react first with violence towards people. And I, he didn't, he didn't meet this woman with the same force that he received. I'm not defending this woman's actions. I feel that if you feel that someone hits you with something, hits you, 
you know, violates your, your personal space, you have the right to defend yourself. I, I agree with that. I'm a firm believer in that. But she didn't, she didn't bring it up top, you know what I'm saying? And, 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 and bring it down with the phone. And some people says, say that that doesn't matter. Fine. I can't tell anybody how to feel. But you did not meet this woman with the same force that her phone gave you. Is that warranted? Let me know what you think. Did his punishment fit her crime or her action, you know? <clears throat> and another thing, security. Security was not doing their job. This is another example of someone thinking that they could do whatever they want because they have money and fame. This is the same dude, the baby, that was recently harassed by police in his home state, North Carolina, South Carolina, wherever he's from. He was he his hands didn't get to swinging when his when the police officers harassed him, profiled him. Why you think that? Because he knew better. So people can say people were saying, oh, you know, he's from the hood and he reacted. He defended himself. People play crazy when they want to. They know when and when not to, to play crazy. I I didn't hear of him swinging on TMZ when they shoved cameras in his face. And I understand that some people instinctively defend themselves when they get hit. Accident or not. I get that. But like I said, he ain't keep that same energy with them cops because he knew better. He probably thought that this, because this was a little hole in the wall, club in the hood, that he could get away with it. And then it dawned on me, his security guard body slammed the woman, I think it was last year. Why are some of these dudes not checking clowns like this? Like, why didn't anybody, all them dudes in the club, why didn't they pounce on the baby and his security? It was more dudes in there than him and his security. Why, why didn't they check him? Why didn't they check him? That club was packed. Right? The club was packed. So you mean to tell, and then he said that he didn't know if it was a man or, I don't know if I buy that. Because the minute that that phone got up to his face, he didn't miss. Like, that that slap connected. That slap connected. So you saw who you was hitting. You saw your target, not buying it. Then this fool gonna say on his live during his apology, at the end, I'm going to sleep. I think that she should sue the brakes off this dude. Another thing, uh, I'm trying to think of the, uh, some of the arguments that people were posing over the weekend. Um, he's a he's a celebrity, right? So, granted, yes, everybody should respect everybody's space, but he's he's. The, <laughs> I feel like he's the bigger idiot, right? Because he has more to lose. Do you, like, he's from the hood or whatever, right? So that's being used as an excuse that he reacted so quickly because he's from the hood. He's a little bit ghetto. Great. Fine. Okay. That's the excuse. But you being from the hood, you don't understand the game, the hustle. Do you know that someone who has as much money and fame as him do you know how many people will probably bump into him and then sprawl out on the floor all contorted and say, oh, my gosh, I'm hurt just to get some money? You don't understand the hustle in the game? You ain't really street smart. You ain't really street smart, the baby. You're a bag. People look at you like a bag. How do we know that this woman didn't set you up so that that could happen? Because I'm pretty sure if she decides to take this to court, which I think she should, I don't think that she should cut any side deals with him. Right? If she decides to take him to court, what you going to say to a judge? I have PTSD. Like you some sort of war veteran. 
Yes, his slap connected. So he he saw his target. So I'm not really buying that. He didn't know who was on the other side of the of the phone. Mm, yeah, okay, but you saw well enough to connect that slap. And he hauled off, like hauled off. Like that was somebody that owed him money. He's stupid. We live in a litigious society. Everybody wants to sue everybody. People want to sue people if they go to Star. People want to sue Starbucks if they go to Starbucks and they put they spell their name incorrectly on their cup. If you look at somebody sideways, they want to sue you. And you're somebody who's in the limelight. You got money. You didn't. You don't understand the hustle. You don't understand the game. <laughs> what a fool! What a fool you are. Aside from the fact that you physically assaulted someone, you must have money to be shelling out. And he has a couple of open cases. You beat up your promoter. Your bodyguards is out here slamming, uh, body slamming women like they they in the WWF. You were just recently um, harassed and arrested, detained by police officers. So you love controversy. And some people says, that, you know, he needs to get counseling. Yeah, 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 whatever. That's all good and everything. Yeah, he probably does. Don't we all? We could all benefit from a little bit of counseling. But common sense is common sense, especially you being a street dude. How do you not understand the hustle? You are a target. You're a target, you idiot. If you say something wrong to someone, they will sue you. They know you have money. How could you fall for that? And again, is his security just for show? Security sat there, watched, stood there, watched him hit the girl, and then tried to rush him off. And then they booed him off stage. Like I said, why didn't any of the dudes pounce on him and his security and check him? Has he ever performed in New York? <laughs> I'm just wondering. It's always something in Florida, ain't it? All right, moving on to little baby now, Lord. An another baby. This just makes me want to swallow birth control pills every day. Just take my ovaries, baby. I don't even want to hear about no babies no more. So he was performing at a club. I don't remember. I think, was it in Georgia? I think. I'm not sure where. Um, And shots rang out in the club. He was performing there, and I don't know if it was one or two people. Last I read, it was two. I'm not sure if it was one or two people. Um, they got injured. And it's like, Dad, you can't even go to concerts anymore. Let me tell you something. Any any little venue that has like one way, most venues, depending on where you are, have one way in, one way out. I don't, I don't really, I don't really dig those type of places, man. Because listen, once the, once them things get to clapping and everybody is trying to run out of the same door, it can get ugly. And in my partying days, you know, I've had to take off the heels. And get the running. You know what I mean? Like, and I don't like that. Like, that is that is one of the scariest things ever. Seriously. Seriously. When people start fighting and then you hear, like, are those firecrackers? Oh, no, those, those are firecrackers. Let's be out. So I don't know if, um, I don't know if any of the victims of this shooting at Lil Baby's concert uh, or show were fatal but and the crazy thing is little baby could have had nothing to do with it but of course this is going to be pinned on him and i also did read that his album um is currently at the number one spot so he's been in controversy too didn't his people jump um offset the other day so I, I guess all of this publicity, mission accomplished, you got a number one album. Lord. Now on to a little bit of, of uh, sanity in hip-hop. Today in hip-hop history, 
23 years ago today, March 9th, the notorious B.I.G. was called home to glory. So I never forget March 9th. So I say it's Biggie Day. And may he continue to rest in peace. And I know I will always love Big Papa. <sighs> I miss old school hip hop. Let me see what you guys are saying in here. Hey, everybody. Greetings, Rashona. Okay, I'm done with the baby after I saw how he did his baby mama. I honestly thought he was different, but he's been showing his true colors. What happened with him and his um his child's mother? I did see that, but I didn't even read into it because I was just like, yo, I'm tired of these these clowns. Every day you turn around, it's always something with them. He was like arguing with her or something, calling her out her name. Same reaction, man or woman, huh? Okay, yeah, that's what he said. Child, let me take him out on the stretcher. Okay, I'll be hollering in pain. You better preach this morning. I wouldn't even be hollering. Mm -mm. I wouldn't want them to think that my vocal cords work. I would be pl I would be laying there like a wet rag, just blinking. That's what I, I would blink. I would be blinking. Greetings, Lashia. Not at all. His accents were jacked up like he is. Good morning, Night Star. Salute to the chat. T K C squared. <laughs> yeah, we we're talking about the baby. You would own him. Word. People saying he mushed the phone. People say she mushed the phone in his face and flashed the light. Yeah, I saw the video. I saw it from two separate angles, and it looked like she had the she had the phone up from what I seen. She had the phone up. I think, I don't know if she was recording him or taking a picture. She probably was recording him. And then she took, like, she had the phone. It was long. And she kind of, like, tapped it on his, on his, the side of his face. He talking about she bust him in the eye. Child. And not one time did he hold his face in pain. He still got up on stage. He wasn't, I mean, again, it's, I'm not making excuses for the, uh, the woman. Because you did violate somebody's space and then use an object to touch them so they could be threatened by that but come on bro you you just straight up this ain't street fighter the baby what the heck i don't care what she did he is rich he better watch his actions you are famous people are gonna get excited and want to meet you if you don't like it stay home i agree you know what he needs to start <laughs> here i go here i go y'all he needs to start performing via FaceTime or Skype since he got a problem with his hands. Just everybody turn around to the stage via satellite, the baby. Yeah, and, and roll down the screen and let him perform in his living room via Skype. If you got a problem with crowds and keeping your hands to yourself. I want to work for his security team because it doesn't look like he has to do much. And I know they're getting paid. I would walk around and act like I didn't see anything either. I'm terrible. He know what he was doing, clout chasing at his finest. I think he wants a nasty reputation for some reason. Yeah, well, let me tell you something. <laughs> they say you plan and God laughs. So he may have a plan to be some sort of like rap villain or whatever. It may backfire. He ain't a pimp, he a simp. I know that's right. You need multiple exit night stuff for real. I I I mm -mm, I don't like all of that. Let me go check on Lil' Kim. What happened to Lil' Kim? He had a baby on her. They had some kind of altercation, and he called the police on her. <laughs> she said, he's policing her. Don't want her with anyone. But he has a baby on her. Oh, he's one of he's one of those. Oh, okay. Violate his space. They were at a concert or whatever. He knows people are crazy over him. He knows his fans are crazy. Yeah, he always in the crowd dancing with the fans. All in the video, all in the videos, all in the records. Yeah, I know. You can't have it both ways, man. Like and and why are you why are you being escorted to the stage through the crowd? I don't know. He's just he's you know how some of them people they just do stupid stuff because they they think they might get away with it. They got enough money to bail them out of a situation and they just want attention. Mm. Oh, we gotta check on little Kim. 
I know. We so shady. We ain't even. We didn't even say. <laughs> we didn't even say. Let's check on Faith. We said check on Little Kim. That's because we know who was there first. <laughs> oh gosh, I can't even take it. <laughs> oh my gosh. So I'm I'm curious to see what's gonna happen with um with the baby but i just don't feel like i just don't feel like he should get away with stuff like this i don't and i and again if it was tmz or any other media outlet you know what i mean he would have kept his hands to himself because he knew the consequences of what the consequences of his actions would be um again people are good at playing crazy but they know when to act right they know when to act right and i'm gonna be honest you know some of the jokes that I now mind you, I sometimes I can have an inappropriate sense of humor, right? But I I just that's that's more so kitchen table talk amongst the crew. You know, we we share those jokes. But I do find it interesting how comfortable everyone was on social media anyway. A lot of people, not everyone, was making these jokes about this woman being slapped. You know, I wonder if she was of a different ethnic background would these jokes yeah they probably would have still had jokes but i'm pretty sure the ramifications of his actions would have been greater you know and did she call the police because he doesn't have like he left and it's not like the police are looking for him this is on video and i see some headlines are saying the baby allegedly slaps woman it's on video how is it alleged unless that wasn't him mm mm Oh God, I can't. So I'm pretty sure this will be in the news for some time. So I'll I'll be keeping myself updated and I'll be updating you guys and we'll be talking about it. All right, up next, right? Remember remember the ice cream liquor? Remember when people were going around licking ice cream from the carton and putting it back in the freezers and filming it, filming this crime and putting it on social media? Well, one of these clowns has been sentenced to 30 days in jail. So this was back in uh, August. This particular guy, the Adrian Anderson, 24-year-old clown, uh, his video went viral when he uploaded himself licking a pint of Bluebell ice cream and putting it back. Now, this caused other people to copy this foolishness, and everybody was doing this, and he had copycat ice cream lickers. Well, he's been sentenced to 30 days in jail, and he's also been fined $1,000, and he will have to serve 100 hours of community service. And he also has to pay $1,565 to Blue Bell Creameries, which uh, replaced all the ice cream in the display case as a health precaution. So this was in um, Walmart, it was. So after his initial arrest for the viral prank, he told 12 News Now that he actually went back and paid for the ice cream and he regretted the stunt because it cost him his job. So the only reason why he regrets this is because he lost his job. What a moron. Now, do you guys think that 30 days, uh, what else did he get? A hundred hours of community service, a thousand dollar fine, plus he has to pay Bluebell, the ice cream company, $1,565. He has to repay them that money because that's how much it costs them, the company, to replace the ice cream in the entire display in the Walmart. Do you think that that is sufficient enough punishment for this weirdo? 30 days in jail, huh? I don't think that that's bad. I don't think I'm glad that Blue Bell decided to take action and replace all of the ice cream in that display because that's just disgusting. And then it's a you know nobody has any sense anymore. You film this stuff, you film yourself committing a crime, and you put it up on social media. Ugh. He said that he he went back and paid for the ice cream right but did you take the ice cream out of the display case so that no one picks it up and i hope that bluebell because of idiots the prices of bluebell ice cream probably going to go up because of stuff like this i hope that they do uh what briars does like they have that um plastic that protective plastic over the ice cream it's unfortunate 
But people are idiots, and if they if they decide to do that, of course, that's going to cost them more money, which means Bluebell Ice Cream and some of these other ice cream brands are probably going to raise their prices. So thanks, idiot, because you have no self-control. But then again, I think that they all these ice cream um, brands should have that protective film just because, I mean, someone can just still open it and breathe on it and maybe smell it. They don't necessarily have to lick it and cover it and put it back. That's still gross. So I think it's worth it to take the extra precaution to put this protective film over it. So, but 30 days in jail? Hmm. Is he going to be in a uh, general population? Or is he going to get the HW treatment and have a whole floor to himself? Or be in separated from the uh from the other guys Nah, let him let him mix and mingle with the other guys i'm pretty sure they'll give him something to lick moving along the claremont twins remember these scammers remember these twin scammers so one of them was in jail uh and she's free so she what what's her name shanada shadana whatever she was uh released from prison so ladies and gentlemen hide your wallets and coin purses so sis serve time after making fraudulent charges to a deceased man's account while she was locked away she let her fans know that she was taking the sentence seriously and using time to quote-unquote detox detox from what fraud <laughs> okay um 20 the 25 year old she turned herself in to serve her one-year sentence for prostitution and committing fraud. So this was in Oakland, California. What do the Claremont twins do? Because I've seen them. I don't. I never followed them, but I see them. They look like I've seen photos of them. They look like they had tons of plastic surgery. Are they models? What What do they do? Child. She. The story goes. <laughs> this is terrible. That. They were basically finessing some of these older men. Well, she was a she was a prostitute, so you know she had clients. She was an escort. So these rich men, uh, she was dealing with one guy, and I think he was having a heart attack or he was dead. And instead of her calling the police, child, she took his credit cards and ran them up and went on the shoppers. That's cold. That's real cold and heartless. Mm. Child. Mm mm. But they say prostitution is the world's oldest profession, but I mean, <laughs> them pieces still hit like that these days. I'm just I'm just asking. I'm not asking because <laughs> I want to know personally, like, mm -mm. Child. why not just go to Vegas? Isn't prostitution legal in Vegas? But then again, she was dealing with those high rollers in Oakland out in California. Mm, mm, mm. But yeah, what do they do? Let me see. Let me get back to the chat. Yeah, that's enough. You think that's enough? You think that's sufficient amount of time for the ice cream liquor? Two year sentence was this would discourage it. They are endangering the community. Blue Bonnet needs to be sued for not seeing I agree now nah, that I agree with because that was the talk. Like a lot of people were saying that why didn't Bluebell secure their um why didn't they secure their uh what you call it the ice cream like have you know safety precautions and stuff like that so that's true too they should be fine yeah they should be fine all ice cream companies should should do that I think general population word she was selling that coolish. They were on Bad Girls Club? Oh, then started model modeling for Kanye's clothing line. Oh, really? Oh, wow. So they started off on Bad Boys Club? Bad Girls Club, I mean? Oh, is that what they are? Okay. But everybody's so excited. They're like free the Claremont Twin. Uh-uh. Fraud? All right, listen. I have no respect for a thief. None. It's not like you, you know, Robin Hood. You robbing the rich to give to the poor. No. You going to buy Gucci bags and bundles. Mm. One year. 
I wonder if she's gonna be on probation. She's probably they're probably gonna hit her with a uh with probation. All right. Last on the list, y'all. Did you guys watch Housewives of Atlanta? <laughs> now I did watch it, and I got my review ready and lined up. But I, I just, it's a couple of things that I just wanted to like, get you. I wanted to see what you guys had to say. So you guys watch. All right. I have a question. Are we, are we buying this storyline of Kenya? Like she, she was saying a lot in that bedroom when she was talking to Cynthia and, and Candy. Um, are we buying this storyline with the whole, uh, text message in his text messages in his phone prior to her being married? She told him that this was inappropriate. She realized that the text messages still continued with this woman. Um, she called the woman and told her basically leave my let me tell you i can't yo i i don't get it i don't get it your man is cheating you calling the woman telling the woman i'm his i'm mrs daly i'm his wife it seems to me that that is the only thing that kenya sees as beneficial in all of this to be able to say that she's someone's wife you know, but are we buying that storyline? Are we buying also that uh, Mark got asked to get out of the Uber? Are we buying that? What do you guys think? <laughs> and Jeanette said, nope. <laughs> I believe he's cheating because he obviously doesn't want her. Okay. Let me. <sighs> you heard, man. I don't like these and I don't like liars either. Okay. When Cynthia, asked, did anybody else get ticked off when Cynthia asked her, um, was she afraid of Mark at that point? What the, what the hell was Cynthia doing right there? And, and pardon, pardon my language. And the reason I'm supposed to be saving this for the review, child. I got my little notes. I'm about to go in. I believe he was cheating too, and it showed in every scene he was in with her. He got he got kicked out of the Uber. Y'all believe that? Didn't she say that that wasn't she with security? Didn't she have a security person? Remember when she wanted Mark to get her out of the car on the last last week's episode? So security, you ditched security and took a Uber. Nah. And you call this woman and told her, don't mess with my man because I'm going to be the one to give it to you. So how come we don't see her in the blogs? We even see Cookie Lady in the blogs. And she was only in, what, two episodes? Mugshot all over the internet. So this woman that you called, I think she knows who Mark Daly is. And I think that she knows that he is married to Kenya Moore. And who Kenya Moore is, I, I could be wrong. How come she ain't hit the TMZ or none of the blogs? I'm just saying. Mark probably was brutal to her in the car. If he's mean to her on camera, you can only imagine how he is off camera. True. Yes, she did. I can't see them kicking him out of the car. Right. Where he gonna go? So he was stranded. <laughs> Yo. I'm going to say this in my review. Like I said, I'm looking at my notes, trying not to give everything away because I want you guys to watch. But Kenya just does not want to admit that Mark don't like her. That is a blow to her little ego, her childish, tainted, dysfunctional ego. She know he don't like her. Listen, when Mark, if Mark comes to that um, reunion, I have a few questions that I hope the viewers write in and ask or Andy will ask, why did you quote unquote marry this woman? Or why y'all playing like y'all married? Like, why did you agree to this? Why are you on the show if you don't want to be on the show? What is the actual arrangement between the two of y'all? That's three questions. But if, what did you, what did you marry? What was the incentive for you to marry her? This seems like a business deal to me. I think Kenya is a straight up liar. And I'm telling y'all right now, 
this review, I'm warning you guys, but I'll say the warning in the video. If you are looking for me to be sympathetic, because I'm a woman as well, toward Kenya, it ain't happening. I'm, I'm, it's, it's, I'm not giving her any sympathy. I, oh, I would never, I, you know, I feel bad, Mark. No woman deserves to be treated that way. Right, okay, fine. But who gets to decide who deserves what? The people that Kenya treated poorly didn't did they deserve it too? I'm not giving her no sympathy. I'm going in and I am ready for people cuz some people who are Kenya fans do come in my comments. As long as they don't use any profanity, it is what it is. It's my opinion. I'm talking about a character on a reality show, but ain't gonna be no sympathy, none, none whatsoever. None for her fake tears, none, none. I will reserve my sympathy for people who are in positions that they can't help themselves out of, like her daughter, baby Brooklyn. My sympathy is reserved for her because Lord only knows as she gets older what she's going to experience. Baby Brooklyn is not in a position to help herself at this moment. I save my sympathy for people who are, again, who are not volunteers but true victims. And Kenya ain't no victim in this situation, just like I said in my last review. Kenya is a volunteer. You care more about saying that you have a husband than anything else. So, this is what you wanted, sis, right? And also, this is this is the the this is the the dinner that you've been cooking up for years. So now your plate is being served to you. Eat up, sis. Eat up. No sympathy from me. I don't trust Kenya either. She doesn't want Nini to blast her. <laughs> he said he hated being married to her at the event. Sure did. And and listen. Would you rather Mark? Like, how is he supposed to say that, right? That's his truth. Is he supposed to say it with like a nice melody, you know, violins playing in the back? Like, he's keeping it real. I would rather him say that. Then front, Mark don't seem like the type of guy that puts on airs for me, like to me. But I want to know, is this a business arrangement? Because I, I don't understand why would you, like, Kenya has been this way for a long time. So why did you marry her? He doesn't like her, but why? what, what did you marry her for? If you was going to do all of this, that's my question. Let me see. Kenya is such an ugly person. Greetings, Tatiana. Greetings. You're right. She's trying to find anything to say why they are getting divorced in all honesty. He just doesn't like. He just don't want you, sis. He's just that. What is that? That book called or that movie? He's just not that into you, girl. And you knew that. But you saying that you have a husband is more important. I don't trust people like that. I'm telling you. Some of my my friends who I discussed the show with think that I'm being extreme. I feel sorry for that baby, for her for her baby. I do. I feel sorry for her, cause she strikes me as the type that if it's not a complete family, then she don't want to be bothered. I'm I'm just saying. That's who I reserve my sympathy for. I hope that I'm wrong. I'll put it that way. I don't trust Kenya, period. Uh, yeah, right. She's trying to find anything. No sympathy. Candy needs to stop. For real. Candy needs to cut it out. No, she isn't. She's using Candy. That's why she... Think about it. She doesn't want to befriend Nini. But she will, she will make amends with Portia, who dragged her off the couch. Did you guys know that... Uh, Kenya pressed charges on Portia for that at the reunion. You remember the reunion when she kept putting the baton and things in her face. She kept, you know, being very disrespectful and um, uh, antagonizing uh, Portia. Remember, and Portia dragged her off that couch. She pressed charges on Portia for that. Portia got a whole mugshot because of that.
Am I late? Uh, just a little, Tatiana. It's okay. It's okay. You're catching the tail end. It's all right. Glad to see you here, though. Hope all is well. How was your weekend? Mark is not playing the noise with her. Maybe because he thought he could change her. I don't know. Yeah. I just want to know, like, what was it? This had to have been a business arrangement. There has to be some benefit. Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. I can't say that. But he strikes me as the type of man that he wouldn't put himself in a position to be, like, annoyed so much so unless that there's some sort of benefit from it. Right? Like, I don't know. I could be totally wrong. Yeah, Kenya's definitely miserable. I was thought I was being extreme until I look on Twitter and they were letting Kenya have it, as they should. Uh, I agree. I feel bad for the baby. She seemed like she should be jealous of Brooklyn because Mark. Yep. See, I can see. I thought I'm telling you out of like I said, the, the friends that actually watch this show that I talk about this with. You know, they agree with some things, but as far as my views about uh, Kenya, her daughter, they don't agree. <laughs> I'm like, it's all good. Watch. I see it already. You don't think kid, you don't think women can be jealous of their children, <laughs> especially their daughters. <laughs> she probably paid him to give her a baby. Why do all of Kenya's relationships seem fake? I mean, all of them. Right. <laughs> Nene. Nene said all her all her men are gone with the wind fat gone with the wind. <laughs> oh Lord help me. Woo. Nah, Kenya's nasty. I ain't got nothing for her ways. I'm good. I'm totally good. And she is going to she's I'm not like I said, I'm not having no sympathy for her on my review. So I'm giving you guys a warning. So I'm I'm glad that I'm I'm glad that we on the same page. You know what I mean? It might offend some. I don't care. It is what it is. Like I said, it is what it is. And I I'm not. And you know what? Can't you know what? Candy Candy annoyed me. Like oh, you know, let's not marvel in. Like she tried to say like let's not you know uh, marvel in someone else's downfall. Candy, shut up. And shut up right now. You sound dumb. And I'm pretty sure that there's some sort of uh, benefit with you and Ken Kenya forming an alliance. I heard that they were supposed to be going into some sort of business together. I don't know how true that is. We shall see. So no one is marveling in Kenya's quote-unquote demise. Kenya is the cause of her demise. You understand? Nothing is being done to her. These are all things that she has done to herself. And what I mean by that is... Whenever you, whatever you put out, you get back, right? Every, I'm not, I'm going to stay away from the word karma, even though, you know, people use it or whatever, but you put this energy out, like the things that you do to people, it will come back to you in some shape, form or fashion. And it just so happens that Mark is like you times 20. That's why I don't feel sorry for you. You took pleasure in talking about other people's relationships you took pleasure in ruining other people's events you laughed it was funny to you and then oh no it's just light shade no 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 no. you're vile and you're nasty and like i said i reserve my sympathy for that baby <laughs> brooklyn because and where is kenya's family at whatever happened to her aunt what was her aunt's name darn lori her aunt Lori used to used to tell her the truth. You don't see much of Kenya's family around, right? Just saying. I don't know if that's a good or a bad thing. Maybe they just don't want to be on TV. Mm. But Aunt Lori was all on the video, all on the record a couple of seasons ago, right? And I liked Aunt Lori. I think Mark only used her for lust. Mark got these taxes paid and flipped the script. Okay. <laughs> then when he gets to know her, he didn't like her anymore. Mm -hmm. that, that, that could be true. 
She's still around. Oh, Aunt Lori's still around. I want. I liked Aunt Lori. You know when I watch her real hot songs, and meaning to, I low key feel embarrassed for them or like bad because they're like unraveling in front of our eyes. Yeah, I don't feel any sympathy for Kenya, and I'm not the type of person that wishes, um, or prays on another person's downfall. But we have to be. I get because I'm older now. You know what I mean. Sometimes we'll feel sorry for people. Anybody outside of Kenya, sometimes we'll just like, well, we've been watching the show, so we know, you know, why this is happening to Kenya, because she's basically, she's done this to herself. Unfortunately, other people have been the victim of her actions, but she didn't realize that she was basically piling this stuff up to all boomerang right back to her. Um, I do think some of the stuff is fake to keep the attention on her and to keep the storyline on her, which speaks volumes because she, to me, she's just a liar. Like she's anyway. But in my opinion, sometimes you see some, like when I see someone going through something, I'm like, dang, man, that's, I always used to be like, that's so sad. I used to just try to like, you know, pray for them and stuff like that. And then as I got older, I realized you could feel sorry for someone or you could, you could, something can touch your heart when someone is going through something. But how do you know that that person is not getting what they put out? And you don't know what a person has done sometimes, not in every situation, to cause them to have turmoil, basically knock on their front door. We've seen Kenya's behavior, foolish behavior, nasty behavior, derogatory behavior. You know, up until just recently in this season, I will never forget Kim Fields. Remember what she did, how she bullied Kim Fields and how she talked about her husband? Mm -mm. And Kim Fields wasn't even on, just like how Tanya, Tanya is not even on it like that. You know, she thought it was so funny that Apollo was like picking her up and splashing her in the water. She threw Phaedra and, and um, Cynthia a divorce party. <laughs> Hope you kept the decorations, sis. I don't I don't feel like I can't be sympathetic. I can be sympathetic towards her as far as other things. Like it's sad the way that she grew up feeling abandoned. But as far as this particular instance, no, I don't feel no sympathy for her. She knew what she was doing, and she got beat at her own game. And who who would have knew? Who would have thought that it would be Mark? We thought it would be one of the other ladies. I bet she never saw that coming. So. She brought it on herself. Like, I'm sorry. You don't know how many of those women uh, go home even remember Portia remember when Portia was going through her divorce with Cordell and Portia kind of alluded to the fact that you know Cordell was was verbally abusive Kenya laughed at that she thought that that was funny man please Nini said that she's a liar and will be bad for the show because most of her storyline is fake mm -hmm. yet yeah, honey when she said blank Kenya and how you heard me but Nini said that with her teeth <laughs> Nini said, blank Kenya with her teeth and gums. Okay. And her bad skin. I'm like, Nini, what? <laughs> Even Nini. I don't I like Nini, but I don't think that she's always right. I don't. But as far mm -mm, I, uh, I don't know. I'm not I'm not going into that whole Kenya versus Nini thing on my review. Because I just don't even understand how you can compare the two. Are you kidding me? But everybody has their opinion. All right. How long I've been on here? Ooh, 50, 54 minutes. She said, blank Kenya. You hear me? Blank Kenya. And her bad skin. <laughs> that was funny. I felt, I felt that too. I felt that too. Just like how Jada and, and Willow and Gammy probably gonna feel the the, uh, the baby. He bet not show up on um Red Table Talk. I don't, I don't want to see him on Red. I, you know what? I just don't, I won't watch. I ain't watching the baby on Red Table Talk. <laughs> they were saying on Twitter that Jada's probably gonna be like, when you smack that girl, the baby, I felt it. Willow felt it. 
My mom felt it. Oh, yeah? So then why are you still talking? You know what? That was rude. That was rude. See? <laughs> it's time for me to get off now. Because <laughs> now I'm getting beside myself. And my kitchen table jokes are going to come out. Ah, <laughs> oh, boy. So, ladies and gentlemen, let me get to work. Get recording. It's already 11. Do you guys feel like the day is, like, zooming by? Because they, like, say your clocks went up, um... One hour ahead. It's already 11 after 11 where I'm at. Eastern time. Jeez. My goodness. <laughs> See, this, I don't, I, I be trying. I be like, before I come on here, I be like, all right. When I be typing up my notes and stuff the night before to talk about stuff, I'm like, nope. Take that, take that joke out. I be trying some jokes out with y'all. I do. Because, you know, in my head, I, I think I'm a stand-up comedian. You know what I mean? But I'm like, nah, take that out. Time is flying by now, but it does stay lighter later in the day, which I like. But time is like zooming by. So, all right, good people, make sure your notifications are on because I am. I didn't record um, Housewives last night. I went to bed when I was supposed to. So I'm going to get ready to record that now. Um, I got my curls pinned up. I'm not even taking my curls down for Kenya. I'm, I'm, I'm rocking pin curls. Kenya ain't even worth me taking my curls down. Bye, Ashy. Anyway, so Royal Family, I thank you for joining me on this episode of the Morning Boogie Live Morning Show. Hopefully you guys had a good time. I hope you have a positive and productive Monday. If you have not done so already, hit the subscribe button. Share the video. I don't mind. Be sure to hit the like button on the way out if you haven't done so already. So I thank all of you guys for joining me this morning. Hopefully, again, you guys, you know, I got you started off right. So for those of you who are at work, on your way to work, have a safe, positive, productive day on purpose. And be slow to slap and quick to listen, okay? So I will see you soon. And until next time, peace.